Hello ladies and gentlemen, Graphic Distortion here again. And yes, that is my AC that you're hearing in the background. And um I'm like about to start doing Fallout New Vegas videos again. But the thing is I had to you know reformat my computer and partition the hard drive and all that shit. But I'm like doing the archive and validation and I'm doing New Vegas script extender and I figured I'd show you guys how to do it if you don't know how to do it it's pretty simple process and I know there's a hundred videos up there showing y'all how to do it but I want to make my own because sometimes I come across problems that you might come across that I don't see in other videos and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so yeah let's get to it first thing you need to do Say, boy, this is what you got to do, boy. You go to Google, right? Type in New Vegas script extender. It's right there. See? It's right there. It's, it's going to be right there. Then you, you go to the top and see. Sublight.org beta NVSE 2 beta 2 12Z18 That's And you click on it. And you download it. And what you do is you open it, right? See, I use Azark. I know a lot of people like to use like WinRAR and all that shit. I like Azark because you can do what you want to with the goddamn file. Okay. And uh you go to computer. Go to computer. You go to the C disk. Then you go to uh, program eighty six. Then you go to Steam. Then you go to Steam apps. Then you go to Common, then you go to New Vegas. And then what you do? Don't ask me, don't tell I don't do this, this what you do, right? You click on top one, then you hold shift, then you go to the bottom one. Don't get that text one right there, the one that says text at the end, TXT. You don't need that one. And you just drag it in here like so. And they're going to tell you, do all the shit. You just click do this for current items, yes. Moving to do this for the next 152 move and replace. Okay, so This is where you put it at Computer local disk C program 86 86 if you're on fucking What at 32 bit or whatever get a new fucking computer steam steam apps common fallout new vegas I had to take a drag on my cigarette real quick. Okay. For archive invalidation. This is what you do. Go to New Vegas. Next is Mars. I got a cough. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> got down a cigarette getting them in my Swear to God, it's going to be the death of me. Look at this. You got Island Home by Rez. This shit ain't got nothing to do with fucking Fallout. Why even make it? Never mind. It ain't got nothing to do. Okay, you type in archive. And you search that bastard. And you go. This is how you want to look. See? See this right here? It's got 17 accolades. This has got 5. This has got 211. This has got 517. So what you want to do is you want to get the one with the most people that likes it. You know what I mean? Endorse it 517 times. You download the motherfucker. Download manually. Because you don't want New Vegas Mod Manager. That's fucking bullshit. I don't fucking know what the fuck they're doing. They open that. And then, hold on. Let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, you can put them right here in the same file that you put the script extender in in your computer and you just pull them over like that and what you do is you click on the top one and it says activate build archive and validation you can do that but you can just click activate and then you can deactivate and all that stuff through Fallout Mod Manager and all that. Okay, so we got that. Everything's good. You got New Vegas Script Extender. 
what you're going to need if you want to play mods. You got archive and validators for them pesky ass textures that don't want to show you know the fucking exclamation marks the big red fucking arrows and shit don't nobody want that shit don't nobody want that shit what you do you close all this shit out right oh and you need fallout hold on never mind i just put a link in the description you need fallout mod manager this thing right here see it right here it's right here open that up Fall out New Vegas. You got the choice. Cause I got both guys. So I already clicked it. I don't need the one I want, you know. All right. What you want to do is you can either do it here or you can go to file and launch game and launch NVSE. And it should work. See? Look. Fall out New Vegas script or standard with an archive validation. That's what you need. That's what we all need, right? We're going to start the game. I'm going to see if the game actually loads. Obsidian Entertainment. Who the fuck? I don't even care. Just let me play. Hurry the fuck up. Please, motherfucker, hurry up. Yes, continue game. And as your game loads, you know, you light up old cigarette, old joint, you know, drink a little bit of brew. You know how it is over here. My game is taking an extra long time to load. I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for the loading time on my game. And there you go. Yeah, well, you're in game. You ready to shoot some shit? Running around. You know what I'm saying? Got a gun. And I play it with a mouse and keyboard right now. I really don't really do that right now, but I do it sometimes. So. That's how you do archive and validation and New Vegas script and skinner on your computer. And I'm playing in Windows mode. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna quit and exit game. And I wanna thank you ladies and gentlemen for participating in my event that I put on the YouTubes especially my boy blue 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 yeah my boy blue yeah my motherfucking boy blue and I will see you ladies and gentlemen after I get me some whiskey graphic distortion over now